Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Cushing, and today I'd like to talk to you about defensive medicine. Defensive medicine is a major part of your healthcare costs. It makes up at least 25% of every dollar you spend on your health care. That's right. 25 cents of every dollar, at least, that you spend on health care is attributable to defensive medicine. That's a big number. It is not to be confused with the medical malpractice insurance that a doctor buys to protect himself from a possible future medical malpractice lawsuit. Defensive medicine consists of unnecessary lab tests, x-rays, and other procedures that a doctor might order. An example would be if you sprained your ankle and went to the doctor, your doctor, with confidence, could make a diagnosis of an ankle sprain, wrap it, and give you instructions for care, all for the cost of a single visit. But if the doctor says that he wants to get x-rays to be sure that there is no fracture, your costs would increase dramatically. The cost of the x-rays could be $200 to $500, depending upon your location and what your doctor ordered. The x-rays would be unnecessary. This is simply a way for your doctor to protect himself from the risks of a possible medical malpractice lawsuit. It is a definite way for a doctor to reduce the possibility of a future medical malpractice lawsuit. Nobody likes to be sued, particularly a doctor. A single lawsuit, a trite one lawsuit, can destroy a doctor's career. Any medical malpractice lawsuit that is settled or won against a doctor is reported to something called the National Practitioner Data Bank. Since most malpractice lawsuits against doctors are settled, that's right, settled by insurance companies, the likelihood that a malpractice suit will be reported to the National Practitioner Data Bank is very high. It's cheaper for an insurance company to settle a lawsuit than to defend a doctor. And the doctor has no say in the decision to settle. It doesn't matter if there was no mistakes made by the doctor. It is still reported. The doctor is screwed. Again, one report to the National Practitioner Data Bank can destroy a doctor's career and ability to work. That's right, one report. The only way to get rid of defensive medicine and the costs associated with defensive medicine is to have Congress come up with a medical malpractice reform plan. If they don't, then you won't begin to see your health care costs decrease. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.